my first question to you is about aghora like how people call it aghoris the aghori culture so for a complete rookie for a complete noob could you explain <laughs> what aghora is right so i think one of the things we should begin by saying to ourselves is that if you are born in india you have an enormous opportunity because as a civilization we are very old as a nation we are very young right but as a civilization we are very old and therefore you have millions of ways of experiencing realities beyond the normal hmm. millions of ways hmm. so the normal way we know is yoga hmm. and yoga uh, they say that it is ashtanga which means it has eight limbs yam niyam sadhana samadhi all of those are limbs of yoga so not only do you have to do do you have to practice the yoga sun which is the physical part of it you have to practice <coughs> control and all of that. the whole lifestyle has to be about it so it is that ashtanga part which means it has eight eight things that must be in place so that is called the right hand of god hmm. then the left hand of god is called aghora aghora is like the short sharp quick way and yoga is this long winded way but yoga is safer this if it goes wrong if agora goes wrong you could end up dead or you could end up as a mad person and um, i read a lot about agora from in english there would be millions of books in hindi and sanskrit and all of that which i haven't read but the books that uh, have made agora accessible in english is a gentleman called robert soboda so okay. he's written agora 1 agora 2 agora 3 which has mind blowing stories mm. so he came to india and studied ayurveda and from there he got attracted or always perhaps he always were attracted in to agora and he found a guru called vimalananda and then you have all these stories about time travel traveling into other people's bodies and all of the mystical powers that agoris can have yeah. so i want to rewind a little bit you said right hand of god left hand of god and these are paths but yes. what is at the end of the path end If, of the path is liberation and both get you to that same end absolutely okay but that this is just two paths there could be many more okay got it got it um, so for instance there is a um, there is a path a panth or a sect called nath panth okay and the uh, guru at the top of it is datta guru and you have machindranath goraknath all of that these are all practitioners of kundalini yoga okay so kundalini yoga the belief is that there is a, a serpent coiled thrice at the base of your spine like a pool of energy uh, it's a, so it's the female uh, energy then when you practice your uh, kundalini yoga she rises through the six chakras that you have and when it merges with the top chakra which is where the male and female meet then you have enlightenment or liberation got it so anyone who's got enlightenment has actually risen their kundalini inside that is if you in you believe in that notion of that path okay so i lived with jay krishnamurthy for four years walked with him had lunch with him and he wouldn't mention any of this right because his entire thing was if you are aware if you are fully aware you are maddeningly aware you will be free of the entire habit of thinking and conditioning and all of that so it which is why i'm saying the most interesting part of our civilization is that you could be encountering hundreds of paths got it all tried tested worked upon experimented with 